SpaceX just did something that no one, not even NASA or China, has ever done before. By the end of 2025, Elon Musk's space company pulled off a record-breaking feat that's left the entire aerospace world in shock. We're talking about historic launch numbers, unbelievable rocket recoveries, and a technological leap that's now putting both NASA and China's space programs in the rearview mirror. But here's the twist. This achievement isn't just about rockets or satellites. It's about changing the entire future of how humanity reaches the stars. In this video, we'll dive into how SpaceX quietly shattered global records, why NASA is suddenly paying close attention, and what this means for the global space race, especially China's next move. SpaceX is closing out 2025 with a bang completing its 160th Falcon 9 launch of the year. Let that sink in 160 successful launches in a single year. Oh, and they've also broken another record, 32 successful launches and recoveries of the same Falcon 9 booster. Now, if you've been following SpaceX for a while, this probably doesn't shock you. They've been dominating the space industry like no one else. Right now, SpaceX handles over 90% of the world's orbital launches and owns nearly 90% of all active satellites in orbit. Insane, right? And according to projections with Starship entering full swing, that share could soar to 98% within the next two years. And you know what happens when you control the skies? You also control the cash flow. SpaceX has been profitable for years, and by 2026, their projected revenue could reach $22 to $24 billion, which is almost on par with NASA's annual budget. Just think about that a private company matching the world's top space agency, the main engine behind this financial rocket, Starlink. With its expanding global internet network and direct-to-mobile services, Starlink is pushing SpaceX toward what could be one of the biggest IPOs in history. But here's where it gets really interesting. Let's talk about how SpaceX spends its money compared to NASA. NASA's SLS program has burned through $25 billion over 13 years for a rocket that's only flown once. In contrast, SpaceX's Starship, built with just a fraction of that cost in about five years, has already flown 11 times, and it's way more advanced. But Starship isn't just another rocket. It's the key to Elon Musk's ultimate dream, building a self-sustaining city on Mars. To make that happen, Musk says we'll need to send about a million tons of supplies to the Red Planet. That's around 1,000 starships and 10,000 launches. Do the math at roughly $100 million per launch. That's a trillion dollar project. Yeah, colonizing Mars doesn't come cheap. Of course, not everyone's cheering. Some critics say SpaceX is pouring billions into starship development in the Texas desert, without yet addressing how they'll handle the rest of Mars infrastructure, things like habitats, energy sources, and local resource production. That's why Musk is reportedly preparing to raise historic levels of capital through an IPO. Some insiders even predict a 2026 listing that could raise over $30 billion targeting a $1.5 trillion valuation. Elon Musk believes that if we want to build a self-sustaining civilization on Mars, SpaceX needs to be massive. Financially massive. And this potential IPO could be the massive springboard for the next big chapter in orbit construction lunar bases, and eventually the first humans on Mars. But, and it's a big, but not everyone is cheering for this. As news of a possible IPO spreads, the SpaceX community is getting uneasy. You see, Musk's original vision for keeping SpaceX private was to protect the Mars dream, to make sure that the long-term mission wouldn't get crushed by short-term financial interests. But now with talk of going public, many feel like that dream might be at risk. It's almost like deja vu. Remember Boeing? Yeah, that's where a lot of space enthusiasts draw their comparisons. They fear SpaceX could fall into the same trap where public investors and corporate boards start prioritizing profits over innovation. 
And here's where things could get tricky. If SpaceX opens its doors to public investors, those investors will obviously want returns. But Mars colonization. It's not exactly a moneymaker, at least not in the next few decades. Critics say it's a bottomless money pit with no realistic financial upside. The biggest fear? Shareholder lawsuits. Imagine SpaceX starts pouring billions into Mars, and someone claims that the company is wasting money on a non-profitable dream. One lawsuit could freeze or even derail the entire project. That's why you'll hear people whispering, if SpaceX goes public, Mars might die. Or worse, that maybe Mars was never the top priority at all. But hold on, there's a twist of hope here. Elon Musk still owns a bit over 40% of SpaceX, but more importantly, he holds over 70% of the voting shares. That means he's still firmly in control, and it's very unlikely he's giving that up anytime soon. So even if SpaceX becomes a public company, Musk will still have the power to push forward with the long-term vision, even if short-term investors don't get it. All right, buckle up, because this is where things go from big to absolutely cosmic. While Mars colonization has always been Musk's long-term goal, the recent IPO talk hints at something even bigger, a Kardashev Type II civilization. In short, it's Humanity 2.0, a society that can capture and use nearly all of the sun's energy output. That's the kind of civilization that doesn't just survive, it thrives forever. Unlimited energy, no scarcity, no power shortages for AI factories or spaceships. Right now, Earth is tiny. In comparison, we're barely using 1% of the energy available on our own planet, whereas sun power is a billion times bigger, it's like using a flashlight while sitting inside a stadium full of lasers. Think about it. The sun throws off an unimaginable amount of energy every single second. Every coal plant, every wind turbine, every nuclear reactor on Earth combined. That's nothing compared to what's floating right above us. And Musk knows it. If humanity wants to power the next generation of AI, deep space, travel, or off-world industries, it's going to need star-level power. So how do we even begin to reach a Kardashev Type II status? That's where the concept of a Dyson Swarm comes in. Imagine trillions of satellites and solar panels orbiting the sun like a gigantic glittering net, each one catching sunlight and converting it into pure energy. No fuel shortages, no wars over oil, just endless clean power feeding every AI robot and machine humanity could ever build. And believe it or not, Musk's plan to start this journey has already begun. It starts with AI integration into SpaceX's satellite operations. According to one of his recent tweets, SpaceX is developing a modified Starlink satellite that could act as a space-based data center. Normally, data centers are massive buildings on Earth filled with servers that process data for the internet and AI. But they eat up huge amounts of electricity and require constant cooling. Space changes all that up there. Satellites can use the sun's energy non-stop. No clouds, no night, and space itself acts as a natural refrigerator. Unlimited power-free cooling. Enter Starlink version 3, SpaceX's next-generation satellite. These beasts are bigger, smarter, and way more powerful. Each one can handle up to 20,000 watts and potentially scale up to 100,000 watts with extra solar panels. Here's the crazy part. If SpaceX launches one megaton of satellites per year, each producing 100 kilowatts, that's roughly 100 gigawatts of new AI computing power every single year. That's like building an entire fleet of power plants in orbit. These satellites will be equipped with high-end GPUs, think NVIDIA H100s, and use laser communication to share data instantly across space. It's a full-blown space-based AI network. And here's what makes this realistic SpaceX already has over 6,000 active satellites in orbit. That's more than every other company on Earth combined. This means they know a lot about how to keep satellites working in space. 
Starlink version 3 will also be launched at scale around quarter 4 next year. An AI satellite is easier, not harder, than the Starlink version 3 design. While there are still some problems to solve, like how to fix these satellites if they break, since it's hard to send people up to space, and how to launch them without spending too much money. But Musk believes SpaceX can figure it out, because they're already really good at launching things into space. More notably, they have a trump card, namely Starship. Right now, Starship version 3 and 4 are in development with payload capacities of up to 200 tons to low Earth orbit. That's huge. This makes launching massive, power-hungry AI satellites not just possible, but affordable. And yes, Starlink's growing revenue stream is helping fund all of this. But here's the catch that's just a temporary solution. Rockets burn expensive fuel, and launching heavy AI satellites one by one would cost trillions. So why don't we build on-site for those satellites? Picture this Starship-built lunar factories that 3D print satellites using moon materials. Then instead of launching with rockets, these satellites are shot into orbit using an electromagnetic railgun like a sci-fi slingshot. It's faster, cheaper, and scalable. This system could eventually produce over 100 terawatts per year of AI computing power powered directly by the sun and inch humanity closer to becoming a Kardashev Type 2 civilization. And AI is also considered the key to Elon's Mars vision. He has spoken about sending the Optimus robot to Mars to make the path easier for early settlers. Furthermore, he could use the enormous profits from an AI data center in space to create a massive financial springboard to fund Starship and a future Martian colony. That's Musk's real vision, not just getting to Mars. But building the foundation for a self-sustaining solar-powered civilization that could last for billions of years. So yeah, Mars is only step one. The ultimate goal, turning humanity into a solar-powered super-civilization that never runs out of energy. What do you think is this the most ambitious plan in human history or just Elon Musk dreaming too big? Drop your thoughts below. And if you want to see how this could reshape the entire future of energy, and AI, make sure to hit like and subscribe because this story is only just beginning.